On this episode of Time Blazers, we're going all the way back to ancient Rome. Romans, huh? Whew. Get ready to meet mighty warriors, weird emperors, and brave gladiators. Oh, you gotta love that. All battling it out to be top dog in ancient Rome. <laughs> Who's your ruler? It's about barbarians, Zar, and Romans on Time Blazers. Let the games begin! I always thought I was a normal kid. I mean, I did normal things, right? But then Sam and Jen appeared. Did you see that? They came out of nowhere. <laughs> Suddenly, they were appearing all over the place. And now they take me back in time to find out what life in the past was really like. shows where people decide on who they're going to marry. Wait a second. What are they doing now? This I have to see. Samuel, come back. I can't. You know I can't. I could, but I can't, so I won't. Or I would if I could, but I can't. Oh, Samuel, what is you this? You know as well as I do that no matter what. You can't leave. I must. You can't. I will. I'll die. I know. I think I'm going to be sick. Hey, you're the one that brought up the subject of romance anyway. Yeah, because everyone's gone crazy over it. I mean, in the past, it was less complicated. They didn't have time for a little this. I don't know, Shakira. It might have been different, but less complicated? Jen's right. If you go through romance in the past, you come up against all sorts of weird stuff, like uh, duels to the death, bizarre tribal customs, savage business deals. That was romance. That was romance. Would you like to do a comparison? Absolutely. Oh, you're considering a career in city planning? Well, actually, no. Doing work for the city is something we get extra credit for at school. Well, Bianca... Vanka. Vanka, let me explain. Being a monster warrior may have a whole lot of razzle-dazzle to it, but this kind of work, much more important. Finding out where all the people in Capital City live and making sure they pay their taxes? Yeah, it really gets the blood pumping, doesn't it? <laughs> ah, here's an unusual property. I wonder who lives here. Deserted. Oh, I don't think so. More likely someone wants us to think it's deserted. Someone that doesn't want to be counted. Someone who doesn't want to pay their fair share of taxes. And that's what Project Deadbeat's all about. Project Deadbeat? Superintendent McClellan. Yeah, I worship that man. Hello, neighbor! I'm a city hall representative, and we're here to find out all about you, so come on out and be counted. Probably around back. Sir, I really don't think anyone's here. Oh, they're just hiding. Trust me, when you're an experienced city hall worker like I am, you learn to know when there's something just around the corner, and I can tell you that... Mr. Withers, are you all right? It's... it's... Oh. It's so beautiful. Oh, Mr. Withers. <sighs> Mr. Withers, we've got... Run. We can't run. It's so... Withers, it's... <laughs> Chummy was a kid who literally went up into the chimney to clean it. And for that reason, the smaller the chummy, the better. Up 
into the chimney? Nobody said anything about going up into the chimney. Come on, Sam. We haven't got all day. Well, we got to get this thing done before it's time to light the morning fire. What? Come on, Sam. Go. Go, go, go. Is it ever dark in here? <coughs> it, it's dirty. Someone, someone should really clean this place out. You're doing it, Sam. You're doing it. Just a little further. Hold on. Oh, Jen, I, I'm stuck. OK, Sam, you're not really supposed to get stuck. Yeah, I'll tell that to the chimney. Something tells me we might have a bit of a problem here. Help! Connection? Coal was something else people used to heat their homes with in Victorian England. Mm. Mm. And where might they burn this coal? Mm. Oh, Sam, mm. are you still here? No, 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 I don't have a nine. Go fish. Uh. What was that, Sam? I can't quite hear you. Jen, yes. Oh, Jen. This is ridiculous. Get me out. You know, sometimes I get the feeling that she plans these things. <laughs> What's she doing now? <laughs> Hold on. She, she wouldn't actually light a fire, would she? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's definitely getting hotter. Boy, that's real toasty. OK, help! Help! help. I'm, I'm on fire! What an imagination. Uh, help me! Help! <laughs> My pants are on fire! My pants are on fire! <laughs> My pants are on fire! My pants are on fire! Ah, oh, oh, that's it! No more chimneys for me! From now on, if I gotta do a kid job, it's got to be outside! You hear me? Out in the country! Uh, did you say out in the country? I'm not gonna take no for an answer. Okay, fine. <laughs> Something of a challenge here. They've only been gone an hour, and already I got a garbage worker strike on my hands. All right, it's no problem. As long as my emergency plan to stuff all the garbage in the service tunnels under Capital City works, then everything should be... Mr. Withers, Deputy Assistant Bureaucrat, Selma Bushnell. Just joined the City Hall team a month ago, sir! Hope I'm not disturbing. No, no, no. I was just uh, planning a five-point strategy for a multi-level task force to look into long-range planning on this garbage strike. Oh, excellent, sir. I would just like to say that it is an honor to be serving with a dedicated civil servant such as yourself, sir, and that you can count on me to be there for you through this garbage strike crisis. Now, I'm assuming that you have some ideas about where to put the garbage? Of course, Miss Bushnell. In fact, I've already taken some emergency procedures and expect big results. Perhaps, Miss Bushnell, you are aware of the service tunnels that run underneath this city? I make the monsters big. <laughs> <laughs>